My name is Sue Polanski, and I work with textiles. The type of work that I do is called art quilting or stitched fabric collage. Um, I work either from my imagination or from drawings, or um, often I'll use uh, photographic reference. Um, when I use uh, photographs, I use my own photographs from uh, most of the time from traveling um, that I've done. And I'll use Photoshop to make a combination of the best elements of parts of um, my photography. And then I interpret it in fabric. I've chosen fabric um, for many reasons, but one of the reasons was when I started with artwork, I thought I would paint, but I realized I could only make 50 colors of mud and nothing was working. But with fabric, I can get the exact nuance of color, emotion, feeling with the different, the different colors and the different patterns. I can look for a blue. I, I know most of all of the fabrics that I have, and I buy them at just local fabric stores. If I want a blue that's a windy blue, or a blue that's that frosty blue of a winter morning, or the soft blue of, of like a cornflower in the summer, I know the textures and the patterns that I want, and I can pick out exactly what I want. And then when I put those fabrics together, they just, they speak to me and they speak together and they blend in sort of an impressionistic way. And the fabrics are so um, malleable. They're, they're, so, they're such a pleasure to work with. I really enjoy the materiality of the materials. Um, there's so much that you can do with materials in terms of cutting or shaping. And there's so much potential for um, different techniques that I've only started to explore. A lot of my work is, it's mostly two-dimensional, but there's a slight three-dimensional feel to it because of the quilted stitches that are in it. So there's a little dimensionality, which I, I like, and I feel like that really um, um, adds to the, the, the textural interest of a piece. Um, but there are lots of um, ways to shape fabric or to make an uneven edge or to have uh, printing on fabric or I can use paints with the fabric. Um, I can use different kinds of threads in the, the uh, whether I use a cotton or a rayon or a silk. All of those things have different sheens and textures. So there's, there's just an incredible amount of variety of things to use. And with all of that, uh, all of those abilities, I can express what I want to. Um, a lot of my quilts are really, I think a lot about what I want to express in my quilts. Um, I try to capture an emotion or a feeling um, in this particular one that I'm sitting next to, um, I had just come back from a trip in, from India, and there was just so much fabulous stuff going on. It was just such sensory, sensory overload, and I had um, committed to making a quilt that was 30 by 50 inches square. I mean, it's 50 in, 30 by 50 inches, and I couldn't imagine how I could get everything that I wanted to say about India in this one piece. So I thought about Norman Rockwell and how in his pieces he had to have a visual economy of telling a story with the, the least amount of things to, to just make the most use out of the canvas that he has. So I, I tried to get everything that I want to say, the playfulness, the hardworking, the beauty, the, 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 the junk, the old, the new. I tried to have elements of all of that and um, when I arranged my photographs and make a composition that expressed all of that and then put it all in, in fabric to capture it. And then I titled it An Ordinary Day and, um, because that's just everything that happens there in India. And I was able to capture all that in this one quilt. And that's what I hope to do with all of my quilts.